I wish Uncle Rojo like my recipe. Hmm, perfect. Asian approved. Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode of Recipe for Star. Today's star is Uncle Roger. The real name is Nigel Ong, the Malaysian comedian based in UK. Uncle Roger is new big trend on YouTube with his reaction video about people's making fried rice. Let's watch some of them. Putting jam in rice. Dre What's she doing? What's she doing? Drain the r Oh my god! Egg fried rice need to use wok because you need the wok, hey? Change the wok? Change the wok? Gordon have two wok? Just use finger, finger. You put rice, put water, onto finger. First join, first join the finger. Is use fork to eat his fried rice. Because in Southeast Asia, we all use spoon to eat rice. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided to cook fried rice today, but not egg fried rice, the kimchi fried rice, Korean one. The recipe inspired from Korean cooking master, Baek jong -won. The Baek jong -won's recipe video is here. It's Asian approved fried rice. Let's get started. For kimchi fried rice, we need leftover rice. He said leftover rice? Oh! Kimchi, gochugaru, Korean chili powder, oyster sauce, seaweed, one onion, one egg for fried egg, diced bacon, sesame oil, sesame seed, kimchi stock, butter, which is optional. First, we need to cut onion, fine dice. Now, let's prepare a top and pan. A pan. Where, Where your wok? Uncle Roger sent you one wok for free. Where? The wok is not Korean culture. Very hard to find kitchen with the wok in Korea. But thanks for free wok. Heat up and apply oil. Put diced bacon and quickly stir fry. Make bacon really crispy. Then cook diced onion as well. Apply oyster sauce. Quickly stir and deglaze on the bottom of the pan until you can't see the sauce anymore. This is really important. Deglazing with the sauce give extra smoky flavor for fried rice. Next, kimchi. Chop the kimchi fine dice, but it is freezer of the long time. Kimchi has a lot of sauce and its own water inside, which means it takes a long time to cook. So chop it small, please. Put it into pan and add gochugaru. Cook until kimchi is totally cooked. It will turn into transparent looking. If the pan is too dry, you can add a dash of water. You can add a dash of water. In the middle of cooking, you put water. Oh. The water is not for rice, it's for kimchi. It takes much longer than egg or already cooked steamed rice. Read this fire if you want and dash of water if you need. What's she doing? What's she doing? <laughs> now, add rice. Put into the pan and break down quickly and mix. Now, butter and sesame oil. Butter is optional, but give it extra nice flavor as well. Now, cooking is finished. Add seaweed and sesame seed. Let's plate the fried rice like serving in restaurant. Prepare rice bowl and put fried rice in. and press down with spoon really well and tap 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 and put upside down on the plate beautiful now fried egg prepare pan and stove again and add a lot of oil to make crispy fried egg for fried rice crack one egg in and cook put on the kimchi fried rice and garnish to finish seal it Sesame seed and spring onion or chive. Now, Asian approved fried rice for Uncle Rojo is ready. Enjoy! Before try my fried rice, don't forget like and subscribe. Thank you! Smell a little bit spicy. Of course, it's kimchi. Let me try. Hmm. And with the egg, of course, break the yolk and mix. Hmm. I feel like I'm in the heaven now.
I love the texture of bacon. It's so crispy and has a full of meaty flavor, of course. Mm. And the rice? It's well fried, They're like kimchi oil everywhere. Mm. And kimchi, still crispy. And mix it with the Korean seaweed. Perfect. So today, we made fried rice. Ah, kimchi fried rice. Asian approved, especially Korean approved. I wish Uncle Roger liked my recipe, the Korean fried rice. Thank you for watching my video today, and see you next time with different stuff. Bye bye.